for his gunfight. Yeah, Rafal is almost taken out of the equation, but you see Shaiko doubles up and tries to double down on dropping Doki, but he's still holding firm for now as he keeps this locked off, allowing the rest of his team to start applying the pressure to the other side. All of them set up for the start bomb freezer and obviously the main laundry hatch to their pre-firing angles and potentially going to pop a grenade around the corner as Alems holds it off, but with those burn, he can't hold it much longer. Blur finds the first through the hatch. That is every escape possible for Alems cut off. He has to dig in with this English shotgun and put all the faith that that gun needs to actually succeed. Another frag grenade has bounced around. Another bit of pressure from the window. There's the first. Can't find the second though. Secretly has the pick up and they have a minute to try and capitalize. That's the danger in Deepa Shaika will be able to reply and that is Stoki out of the question right here. Rafal able to land another kill as well secretly will drop and it's only up to saves and nave right now. One on the freezer stairs, one on the hatch. They know that the shield is one that is currently being contested so they decide to take it out. Explodes into a fiery bush of uh, fire as nave will be able to take down Rafal though. Bringing it to a two on two and look at that every day. Still three smoke canisters left will be able to completely deny the entire presence from the freezer side as it is only 20 left now. They're going for an angle and a big rotation round to the laundry side by the looks of it. Habana hop footing it to see if they can find some other semblance of something to hold on to saves. Tries to lean through, can't quite find the first. There's the trade. There's a split angle of a man on the second. Shaika with a double. He's trying to bait them to swing round on the fire. Can't find it and Bride puts BDS into the first. Read on where they are, a body down, so it's a risk to try and take these one versus one firefights because, well, it's entirely risk and reward. If you pull it off, you're back to even balance. You might force BDS into a more uncomfortable situation, but with only 40 seconds, whatever you do, you've got to do it fast. And Rafal seems to have eagle eyes and your number, Na'Vi setting themselves up to finally try and make their way through the breach that they opened on walk-in. Can't quite get the angle on Shaiko. Oh no, wait, there it is. Nate gets one and secretly stopped at the kids' dorm's windows. He's trying to stick the plant on the opposite side, but another smoke comes down and he has to get out of there quick. 15 seconds, two canisters, one still in pocket, but Bride is swinging to get the one on the big window. Finds one, can't find two, run out of bullets, and there it is. The rotation from Alems gets one post-plant situation. The cover is there, though. Blur! Locks it off for Na'Vi. We are one apiece. Inside the building, find the top of Armory Stairs to try and offer some countenance across the side of Trophy as Doki swings around aggro to see if he can get anyone on the door anyway. Was playing very aggressively on the window earlier on right there. Shaiko gets a beautiful shot, takes Blur out of the equation right here. And that brings it yet again into a man advantage here for BDS. But last round, we saw that that did not per se, uh, per se have to matter because Na'Vi was able to bring it back. Na'Vi cannot really take that fight against Shaiko alone, not without that Malusi halfway down, not without the support and structure they still have there. Nate is trying to keep him isolated from the bodies inside kids' dorms. So we can start to see the potential of secretly finding the pressure inside the site there, but we know how Shaiko likes to swing on angle, so Nath can't play this too hyper-aggressively. Flashes over the corner as secretly has actually opted to try to rotate. They're going to take the risk, take the gunfight, and hope they catch it, and they do! Big kill! But with only 40 seconds, they've got to turn that into a bit more than a big kill. Now they're going to start moving now, and Nafe will do exactly that as it picks up the head of Rinshiro. That's the evil eye gone, only one left on site, and it's going to be Bride inside the bedroom. He's going to get pinged out. They have to go for a pusher. They have to go for a play. And Nafe, he's ready to go for a plant. Alems, he's already below with a C4 to have the opportunity to try and cancel out that plant, and surely he's going to be trying to toss that C4 into a nice little arc to try and stop it, but it's not necessary as Bride will go down on Alems with a double kill with the C4, turning it into a 1v2 situation. It's only up to saves right now. There's no way that he's going to be able to clutch this out. Doesn't even get the first kill on Alems, but a huge round right there. Able to pick up two from the Nitro and able to finish off the last one as well. Saves desperately tried to get the kills. You know the ferocity that that shotgun can hold with it and Alems, well, he's keeping a close eye on any of this attention that falls his way. ADSs and Wamai discs start to get burnt. Remember, they didn't have that last time, so they've doubled up on the support and possibility of the hold. There's the grenade though, comes up around the back stairs and look at what it removed. There's two more. Get out of there, Alems. You gotta find a flea. Sees the head, but the cover is there and secretly can't catch the flea Frenchman tail between his legs, but he survives, and that's a big gun set to keep in their corner.
Uh, that's the most important one that the that he manages to survive right there. A lens is going to be able to walk away. Still has that shotgun. Still has the SMG available to him. And I believe will now be playing in elbow. Currently, a position that is not really being put under pressure in any of these rounds that Navi have played so far. And thus, they decide to keep it open. It gives you another angle to work with. It gives you another place to play from. And as long as Navi's not putting any pressure, surely there is going to be no reinforcement locking that one off right there. And now Navi, they have control of Freezer. They're starting to push from the laundry as well. Is this going to be a laundry take that we're seeing? Also, in the meantime, Secret is going from the back. They literally take it. So Doki's on site. Hello. Doki able to pick up a double kill right here, pushing through to the actual cubby. And it looks like they have laundry control now as well. It's going to be a three on three, but the time's running low right here. Only nine seconds left, and it's only up to Shaiko in a 1v3 clutch situation. Nave. Trying to get it down. 45 seconds on the clock right now. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> Doki's on site. Hello. I think is both what you said and probably what he said when he arrived. Sensation. But he is sensational. And here is Doki, who wants to go with pace for the first time. They're going for a blue take. And the first time it's successful. Doki is already in sight, almost breaking on the door. Nate is the one that's going to take up the mantle of the angle as they try and find some cover from the other side. Shaiko dancing around the pillar and applying some pressure from deep. But hey, there's saves doing his laundry and picking up the bodies too. Shaiko finds secretly and drops a body, but blurs a trade and its trades all apiece. Suddenly only. Renshiro, a player, hasn't quite found a true impact into this game yet and won't this round now V. Oh, they're trying to speed run that round. Find that first shoulder they can put bullets into and get a claw into the site itself. As soon as he hits these barbs, two angles are going to swing onto him, so he knows he has to play this pitch perfectly. Doki again, trying to find a pick right here, hoping to push through. There's only 60 seconds left. He is crucial right now. If he manages to find Shaiko, if he goes wide, that is the opening kill. That is going to be the pulse sign right here for Navi to try and push in. But it's Rinshiro to fight back. It's Rinshiro to take down Doki. And thus, Navi will have to slow down again. They have to find another pick before they can finally explode onto these sides. And they have 40 seconds to find it. Well, Blur is waiting for a bit of a misplay here. He's hoping a lens goes a bit too broad and bold and wide, expecting the pressure from Tower. But look at saves on the opposite side, sneaking in. Bride gets saves, Blur gets a lens, and Nath finds the body balance for their favor. Bride rotates round to apply the pressure onto Blur, but Blur is actually hopping a little bit further away. The grenades bounce around the corner. He's not going to swing so intently, but this leaves Rafal under the pressure of two. He just goes for it and gets dropped for his troubles, but Nath is going to try and stick it with the cover that's no longer there a triple for Bride now as Nath goes for that kill but seven seconds and no oh way God, through three three you can almost guarantee BDS gonna be trying to hunt him down with two people they've stacked a lot of attention up here on blue on elbow they're looking for the rotation and the pressure that they can put towards secretly and saves blurs offering some support there with the jammer to make sure that that wall doesn't get popped open so easily but it's going to be the pressure here that comes against secretly first saves desperately looking over the top of those barrels an early smoke is popped potentially to buy some time for teammates to rotate back around and offer some support we can see obviously a recalibration of the stack up that they're doing secretly pulled away as all of that goes pop around the corner and drops another drone but it's a lens that goes first doki wherever he is up in t1 i believe got one secretly got the drop there on the ash that tried to charge through and shiro is down around the corner they're concerned of the possibility of a swing round here and the canister doesn't quite catch Renshiro. There you have it, BDS trying to force themselves massively throughout the blue side of the map, but it's not going to be working out. Oh, Grenade actually catching secretly on his feet as he's walking past. Will exploding, uh, will explode him, I must say, and turn it back into a 4v3 situation. However, Renshiro still low. You got to keep that in mind. The reinforcement just came down as well. They're not going to be able to pass through that anymore, and thus will be forced to go down pillar or through electrical. And as Renshiro is trying to pick a gunfight right here, he is only one bullet away from death. He's only one bullet away from bringing this back to a 4 and 2 situation. Bride luckily has some Excaros left. We'll be creating a line of sights, maybe even a rotation if he's feeling like it. And Rafal pushing from the laundry stairs. They are trying to go for a split push, but I don't think it's going to work. No, they just got caught on the camera at the last time. They know he's there, and now they know he's all that's left. And there's Nathan, who decided he wasn't going to wait for the fight down below. Navi. 
They put themselves propped up and stacked BDS in front of them and said, well, you're not coming in this way, lads. You've got to fight. They seem happy and confident with themselves to pull up inside small tower and start putting pressure onto the site itself on the double window. It's a lot of focus also paid towards the armory side too as Shaiko is putting pressure underneath, but no Navi bodies are going for the push just yet. They don't have to. All they have to do right now is just hold off. There's still one or two roams on the board here for Na'Vi, who have the opportunity of try and reach from their backs. And Rinshiro will be able to pick up the first kill. Frank Grenade landing underneath the feet of Secretly. It's going to be starting things so strong, but look at Nave. He is still in a position where he could go for a flank. Look at Doki. He is coming down, actually, but will be taken out by Shaiko himself. And that is a good advantage right here for BDS to work with. They were able to strike on the site itself. It forced some of the play from the Romans to make sure they capitalize in time. Nath is still out there and swinging via the kitchen. If he could pull something off here, it's big saves. Holds his trigger, and it's at the cost of blur. There it is. There's the fight from Nath around the back stairs. Puts bullets in. They can't quite find each other. Goes with the pistol and finds it, but Bride, in the meantime, time is planting the diffuser saves gets dropped inside and there it is a post plant situation and they know where he is but they're not gonna let him get any further pds 4-4 corridor it's a close angle but he's able to find a bit of a rotation around classroom alems has gone to the side of garage but they don't quite catch him he drops mm -hmm. down and that is very important because that is time wasted and time pressure and concerned not sure where he's gone only that he is and that can come back to haunt them a trade goes through rafal finds doki he too puts the body balance back in BDS's favor. Lems finds Nate as well on the rotation. Blur catches one coming up the stairs. The smoke canisters of secretly, I said they're important. And this is them in use now. Stops what was going to be BDS entirely flooding onto site and gives a bit of breathing room as the other one falls to the top of white stairs. Really allows Blur to reposition. Lems suffers. He is eager. They want to push this advantage whilst they have time because these 30 seconds now that have gone by could have been them winning the round. He's close. He drops the diffuser for a triple. He's waiting for his fourth. The secretly locks off the top of the stairs. Blur buried under the window. Sees the head. Can't quite get the legs. And it's Blur with a knife. <laughs> That was so anxious to watch right there. But I was going to say that smoke canister tossed up to white really saved them right here. His blur is just crazy. So, Nave is really going to be an issue now. That's it. When you're looking at this time, you're looking at that clash and what she can do inside Freezer. It's just going to make any of the pace that BDS love to apply when it comes to their push a little bit less poignant. But Alems is still going to swing around the corner here. There's the sight of Clash. Doesn't quite catch the corner of her. Is concerned of the pop around the corner. But Blur's waiting and drops. No, doesn't. It's the frag grenade. It looked like he got the head there, but didn't quite catch it. Instead, it's Shaiko that finds saves. And Doki gets a very important revenge. But there is pressure. And there is a blaze of red and blue kills in the top corner. It's now suddenly just the Clash all alone and swinging in every possible angle. Bride. He's going to try and stick it, but he doesn't have to, as yet again, we are level. EDS is spreading themselves across the map. They have literally someone above every single hatch. It's Rafal now, the first one to take damage, and Nave follows up right after. Yeah, the drones are still working in overtime. You've got to realize there's a lot of time here for them to try and facilitate getting that first kill. It's when we find ourselves sub 30 seconds, they've got to start putting the pedal to the metal, and the Lems is making sure that they're aiming for that target. Finds the first against Nath here, as Blur is the one that's stepping up to try and hold the mantle of Freezer, but it's Doki that actually gets the kill from deep. Swings round to the lawn entrance to offer some support to Blair as well, who was obviously caught last time by the grenades that bounced around the corner. Shaiko eyes the possibility of going big, getting electric and dropping there too to see if he can put the pressure that he applied before just to allow the rest of BDS to move in his wake. There's the 30 second mark, there's that kill and there's Shaiko looking for the drop, finds the kill before he even hits it and now it's a four versus two. Blur goes for the swing on the kill onto Laundry 2. There's the grenades we talked about as the pressure before. It's Bride that gets dropped by Doki on the opposite side now as he swings aggro. There it is Doki finds a triple and puts themselves alone against it but it's a quad for Doki he is heading out of there upstairs Rafal has to find the diffuser he's gonna play around electric waiting for the movement and the momentum but it's a timeout and it's a Doki round puts the full scare on the other saves in the meantime is able to rotate his way back up the stairs and quickly goes back down no court by Rafal on that overwatch but he might not know that he's fully down now he does he saw the glimmer on the hope and waited for the reload there's Shaiko above Doki gets dropped too and now 
50 seconds, all eyes down on the site itself. Blur is getting aggro. He's looking towards the opening hatch, towards the meeting. He's swinging round and he doesn't, he does. He thought he missed him for a second, but it's over there, Blur. Dropped by a lambs on the back of Zulu. Nath is rotated back underneath 30 seconds. Secretly the last man on the site itself. Now he's taking down the Claymore, has the opportunity to go for a great flank here as the plant now going down. Surely the call should be coming out as secretly he's trying to hunt down one of these members. Spots out one in the, in the showers, but it's not going to be able to hit him. Nath, however, just too late on stopping that diffuser. That turns it into a 1v3 post plant situation. I'm not sure if there's any vertical control. It does look like indeed that's the case, but it's not necessary. Rafal will be taking him down from the likes of the stage. And all that is going to be uh, extending this show for a little bit. We're going to overtime. It seems like Kitchen is the option he's taking. Can he catch Ranchero? It's constantly on the move right there. And BDS is well aware. They have people on the flank watch. They have people just waiting. And Shaiko puts up a very aggressive claimer, hoping that one of the Navi members is going to be trying to peek aggressively down onto White and pick someone up. On the likes of that, Stokey is playing very deep, but next to the window, he is quite low. He has to be careful for that. That's a C4 that gets sniped out by Shaiko. Not able to find the kill as of yet, but Doki will go down. That's the entry. 20 seconds left right now. BDS, it's your move. They're in and they're trying to stick the diffuser, but it gets dropped from the deep and it's now suddenly a 3-3. There it is. The rotation's coming through from Nape. He's going to apply the pressure up the back of White Stairs. One slips past Blur. No C4, but he's dug in and he can't quite get Renshiro. He slips on past the diffuser, still cold. And with three seconds, they're going to try and fervently pick it up. There's a drop from the other side. The man's down. Just find the planter. There he is, Na'Vi. Clutch it off the back of a rotation and a roam and once again put themselves one round away. Na'Vi haven't been able to find the face of anybody to apply the true pressure that they want to and it's getting tighter and tighter and closer and closer. We've already complimented Bride on the hold that he's doing and that is the question. What is Doki up to right now? Because that has often been the start of the push. The force is all stacked up. There it is. There's the Gemini that goes down caught by the body behind Pillar. Looks to try and apply some revenge. The Aruni is burnt but 30 seconds. Whatever they do has to come now. And Shiro is by Finding the fight and drops it to a double from Blur. Puts the pressure. There's the drop. Rafal with the C4 gets one and none more. There it is. Nath trying to stick the diffuse around with saves offering the cover. And Blur with the split onto Freezer post plant. As they swing up saves. Gets one and retreats out. They're going up to the hatch. But Rafal has rotated around the top of open. He knows that they're there and holding it. But Nath gets the fight and the fire. And Blur gets the game for Na'Vi.